All right, so this is a quick tutorial on how to access the Moodle site for supporting the journey home and how you're going to be accessing the learning materials moving forward. So all the instructions, uh, relevant links, and your login information will be emailed to you prior. This is just a video to accompany the instructions. So you're going to start with capacity.moodlecloud.com. That's the website you're going to go to. Um, it'll bring you to this login screen. You're going to put in your uh, username here and your password here. I'm going to click login. And then ordinarily, the first screen you'll see is uh, a screen asking you to change your password. Um, and then it'll bring you to this screen um, where it's a, an information sheet on what the program is about and what you can expect. Um, uh, you, if you wish to agree to consent, uh, this is the button you press. If you wish to decline, that's the button you press. So we're going to click agree and we will move on. Uh, so we also host our capacity course on this website. So that's why you see welcome to capacity first. But this is the, the home page for, the, um, for all our courses. And then if you scroll down, you'll see our new course, uh, Supporting the Journey Home. So this is a quick little blurb on what to expect and a little more about the course and a couple testimonials. And if you scroll all the way down, this is how you're going to see um, how to access your courses. So there's a couple different ways you can access your courses. Uh, this is the first way you'll scroll down to see my courses and you'll see gathering early in the journey. That's module one. Everyone will only be able to see one course right now um, because that's the first course that we're doing. Um, so this is, one way. Also, if you don't see any courses here, uh, contact us and we'll be able to assist you with figuring out why that's happened. Um, the second way is if you go to dashboard, you should see your course appear here and normally it'll tell you a little progress bar of how much you've uh, completed the course. So we're going to click gathering early in the journey. And this is the module one homepage. So here we have a quick little blurb all about what to expect for module one and the learning objectives and who you can expect to hear from um, during the module. So we're gonna scroll down. The first thing you're gonna be asked to do is at the introduction questions. So there are only three questions and it should only take about 10 minutes to do. These are questions just geared towards understanding uh, more about you and the community you work in. And we can go ahead and look at what uh, the questions look like. So you're going to click answer the questions. And yeah, so here's the first question. What are your, your strengths as a community helper? You're going to type in your response. Uh, the second question is, what are the strengths of the community slash team you work in? And then what would you like to see happen with palliative care in your community? So once you're done typing up all your responses, uh, you're going to click submit your answers. So this ensures that your responses are saved and that we actually get the responses. Um, and then it's going to take you to this nice little thank you screen. And then you'll click continue and it'll bring you right back to the main screen. Now you'll see that this has unlocked session one, the content under session one. So each session, there's four sessions in a module. Each session, you can see next to this little lock sign um, what day it'll be available. We try to put up all the, the learning materials a day before your live session. Um, so you'll see the dates that they're available, session three and session four, um, and post-training activities. I'll elaborate on that later. So uh, under each se session, there is a quick little summary of what you're going to be learning that in that session. Um, this link, session one lesson, is the actual content. So that's the module that has all the videos, um, all of the content you're going to be discussing in your live session. It's going to be this link. This link I will expand on in a couple minutes. So we're going to click session one lesson, and then you're going to click enter. And that will open up a new window with the actual module. So the first screen you'll normally see is this, uh, and it'll say begin here instead of resume course. I've already started the course, so that's why you see this. But when you scroll down, you'll see a quick little overview 
about what what to expect in this module. So you're going to click begin course and it will bring you to this screen. So you can scroll through at your own pace. It has all the videos, all the little content. And then um, the only other thing I'm going to point out is that every session has a lesson titled seven day assignment and guidance sheet. So a guidance sheet is essentially a sheet that's, that summarizes all the tools, the tips, um, anything discussed in that session uh, will be summarized in this sheet. And you can use this sheet either for your use in your practice, um, but we do suggest that you use it to, to do the assignment. So every session, there will be a seven day assignment that you will do for the week and we'll talk about in the beginning of the next session. Um, so you can use the guidance sheet to, to, do, to complete your assignment. So once you're done uh, going through the module, you're gonna click exit course and then close the window and it'll bring you right back to the main screen. So again, if you've already gone through the lesson in the live session um, and you just want the guidance sheet, you don't wanna go through everything to download it, that's why this link is here. So you can click the link and uh, you can click download and it'll bring you to uh, the screen where you can download the guidance sheet. So now you've completed session one and you can see when session two will be available. So once you're done all of the sessions, in session four, you will receive more instructions about this, but uh, once you're done all four sessions, you will be asked to do a uh, post-module evaluation. Um, and that will appear under post-training activities. So this again will be uh, about four questions, just asking you, to reflect on your experience, what you took away from the course, and things you liked about the course and things you didn't like about the course. Um, it should, again, only take from like 10 to 15 minutes to complete, and it'll look very similar to uh, this, this activity here. So uh, that is your quick crash course on how to use Moodle. Uh, the last thing is how to log out. You're gonna click this avatar button, and click log out and it'll bring you back out to the login screen. So if you have any questions, any issues, please feel free to email us and we will be happy to assist you in figuring out what went wrong. All right, thank you.